I mentioned how important it is to consider having backup power to your tank using recycled lithium ion batteries. I removed the Tesla BMS, added a cell meter, and then balanced the two modules by connecting them in parallel, added a BMS to the Tesla modules, and temporarily wired everything together showed how I use an iCharger X6 to post balance the modules, and did a few real-time tests. In this episode, a Tesla-powered reef, episode four, I will build a cabinet for all of the gear. To build the bottom, top, and sides, I used half-inch medium-density fiberboard, or MDF for short. I want to add fans to cool the top and bottom of the modules, so I added module risers to the sides and center of the cabinet. Here you can see where there are four areas I have to cut out so that air can vent out of the cabinet. And here is another view of the back air vents. This is the front view. I did not end up using this piece. For the center module riser, I used two pieces of half inch MDF sandwiched together. Here you can see how much of the module has been risen, just over in half of an inch. Both modules fit very snugly in the cabinet and will be screwed down. I drilled into the MDF and used six bolts for the power connections. I also added ABS plastic, not shown. For the front fascia, I will be using quarter inch acrylic. I am just going to warn you now, I got pretty crazy with the design and wiring on this piece. It will host six switches, four 50 amp fuses, and four 24 volt fans. To add a bit of style to the fascia, I used a thin piece of ABS, uncut out holes with a Dremel and a drill. The main reason I did this besides adding style, since the switches wouldn't be countersunk, it gives the illusion the switches are flush with the ABS. It's just a cleaner appearance to me.
For the wiring, I use Cat5 cable and JST plugs so I can use the iCharger X6 in case the BMSs can't keep the modules properly balanced. There is also an XT60 connector next to the JST plugs. And here is the fascia with all of the wiring finally finished. So far, one 50 amp fuse connects both modules together, and the other turns on or off the solar controller and the inverter. One switch turns on the fans, and one switch turns on the JST plug for the iCharger X6. And the other switch turns on the 6S voltage meter. The other side of the fascia is exactly the same. Future additions will be to add two more fuses so that I can independently turn on the solar controller and inverter. And to add LEDs for the switches. When I design the fascia, I painted the back and left the Tesla logo clear, as you can see here. So I will build an enclosure and add red LEDs so the Tesla logo will glow red when charging, or when the inverter is on. That will wrap up the Tesla series. I will make an update video in a year or so to show how well or how bad the modules perform. I hope you've enjoyed the videos and possibly learned something along the way. If you have any questions, technical or not, please post them below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.